Hi guys, welcome to the sixth video of the Golang and React to do full stack project application. So in the fifth video, we started working on our middleware file and we created the outline of these functions. In the sixth video right now, we'll work on the create db instance function. So let's say func create db instance. And here we'll have our connection string where we'll use our OS package to get the environment variable for db uri. As you can see, we have already defined it here, db uri. This is basically what we're getting out here. And then we have our db name is equal to OS dot get environment db name which is test basically all right and then you have your collection name for collection name we'll say the same thing os dot get environment for db collection name make sure you write the exact same um, words here like this compared with your .env file and then we'll have our client options options.client dot apply uri connection string and then we'll use our mongo.connect function to connect to the database so we'll say mongo.connect sorry there's a triple n it's double n so context dot to do comma client options and we'll capture this in client comma error so if error not equal to nil we log out the fatal error and using the client we can ping and check if everything is all right so it's context dot to do comma nil and we'll capture the error so again if there is an error so we'll say if error not equal to nil we'll log out the fatal error and if everything is has gone well we'll say fmt dot print ln connected to mongodb perfect and then we'll say client dot database db name dot collection collection name so we'll capture this in basically a variable called collection so from the database we'll get the collection and we'll capture that in a variable called collection and here we'll say fmt dot print ln collection instance sorry this is all under inside double inverted comma so we'll say collection instance created for get all tasks we're going to set our header first so we'll say w dot header dot set so it's context type comma application slash x www form URL encoded 
w.header dot set this is for the course error so we'll say access control allow origin so that we don't get a course error right so we'll say star that means allow origin from everywhere and we'll call function call get all tasks and we'll capture that in a variable called payload then we'll encode the payload we'll say json by using the json package dot new encoder for the response dot encode payload all right so whatever we get in the payload we're going to encode into json and send it to the front end i hope that makes sense now the next um, function that we can work on is create task function so we'll come here and we'll say w http dot response writer comma r star http dot request and here um, so this function is quite quite long so I, i'm thinking of keeping this uh, all these videos short so that um, you know you can if you want if somebody if one of you is learning or some of you are learning um, you know golang newly so you'll be able to basically uh, divide the project into a few days and then learn them a day by on a day by day basis so if you want to just tackle the create db instance function and get all tasks function in this video on on this particular day and that's all right and then the next on the next day you should tackle the create create task function and task complete function you know stuff like that basically don't try to do everything on one day so this is going to be a long file right the model middleware so it's better to divide these functions into different days if you're new to go lang and if you're still learning all right so what i'll do is i'll also keep this video short and i'll work on the create task function in the next video so do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know when the next video of the series is coming out and thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode